All right, g'day everyone. So in this video, what we're going to do is route GGD Invasion to Reaper. So I'll put time links in the description if you want to jump ahead to any point. But first of all, let me show you how the drums sound. If you want to check it out without my mixing, these are the raw tones. These are with my mixing. So you can see the kit I've chosen there. It's a combination of all my favorite pieces. All right, enough of that. Let's get down to business. So how do we route to Reaper? Well, what we're gonna do is, you'll see I've created all of these tracks. Now, not all of them have something routed to them. Some of them, such as GG Invasion, Kick, Snare, Toms, Rack Toms, Floor Toms, Room, and Drum Comp, they don't have anything routed to them. They're just there for organizational sake and to make it easier so I can route all three Floor Toms to the one Floor Toms channel. And through that track, I can just apply whatever I want to apply once and then it'll apply to everything. So what we'll want to do in order to route to these. We'll open up GGD Invasion in Contact. We'll come over to the first channel, the Kick channel. What we'll want to do now is we'll go to this button up here. We'll click on Outputs. Now, you won't have all of these. This is what it'll look like eventually. So what you want to do is simply go Outputs Plus. Now, I have 17 tracks in total. You can see it goes up to 34. But 17 tracks in total here. You can do it however you like. So put in the number 16 if you want, because you will have stereo one, and that's what I use for the kick. So I needed another 16. So it's up to you how many tracks you're going to use. Make sure they're stereo, and make sure you've selected ascending output assignment. That'll automatically make the first track one, two, the second track three, four, third track five, six, and so on. So what you want to do is put those in. Then you'll have stereo one, stereo two, stereo three, and so on. You want to just double click, and you can change any of these channels and you can see what I have here it's all pretty logical it all makes sense then a very important step you want to press this exclamation mark up here I'm not sure exactly what that does it's some sort of like a refresh or an update but what that'll do is that'll allow when you come over to say to your kick and you press the drop down arrow you can round it to the kick channel sub kick I've also got to kick kick trigger I've got to my kick trigger channel. Overheads go to the overheads, room close to the room close, room far to the room far. And so you'll leave all these levels down here the same, and you'll go through the kick, the snare, the toms, and the cymbals. And you'll do the exact same thing for all of them. Then once you've done that, to route in Reaper is really, really easy. If we're routing from the MIDI, all we do is click on this route button. We drag it to where we want to go, to the route button on where we want to go. So the first one's kick. We're going to drag to the kick. And because the kick is on 1-2, the audio should be 1-2. That's coming from the MIDI. And then the parent track of this track is channels 1 and 2. So that stays as 1 and 2. And that'll stay 1 and 2 for all of them. So for the trigger, kick trigger, you'll see I've got audio 3-4 because over here the audio is on 3-4. For snare top, you'll see I've got 5-6, because the audio here is 5-6. And so that's all you need to do is just drag the route from MIDI to the route wherever you're going, put in the right number here, that corresponds here. And that's all you need to do. And once you've finished all that, then you'll have your drums routed, and as you'll see, when I play through the drums, you can see everything now individually lining up so you can obviously solo things and mix things individually. So that's all for today. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you don't mind, check out my brand new experimental metal album. Link also in the description. That's all for today. Thank you very much.